guys, like all of you, we are doing our part to stay at home. And guys, why are we staying at home? Because of coronavirus. That's right. And our kids, they have been asking lots of questions about the coronavirus and what exactly is going on. So we have a unique opportunity right here on The Housey Life to talk to a medical expert and actually let them ask their questions. It's an awesome opportunity. Andy Slavitt, who's actually been on the... TV talking about this all News over. a lot today, and the kids are actually gonna be able to yeah. ask the questions personally. Are you excited about that? Yeah. 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 I'm, excited. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited for everything. Well, we thought it'd be perfect timing for us to have a chance for our kids to talk to them and hopefully to help our family and also yours at home as well. Ready? It's gonna be you guys, okay? Okay, well, say hi. Hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> Usually my sister's four, she has a four pack, I have a six pack and I'm seven. Oh, wow. Okay. And I'm four. So I heard you guys have. I already said that wrong. All right, I heard you guys have questions for Andy in regards <laughs> to the coronavirus. So, Aiden. Why is it called a coronavirus? Okay, so the great question, Aiden. A corona means crown. It, think about a crown. It's got, what does it look like? It's got kind of a bunch of points on the top right well if you if you took a big microscope and you put the coronavirus under the microscope it would look exactly like that it has a whole bunch of crowns so they just called it the coronavirus because it looks like it has a crown on it why do you wash your hands so much oh let me see those hands let me see those hands oh they look clean let me see yours aiden Pretty clean, not as clean as hers, but pretty clean. <laughs> so, one of the best ways to protect from yeah, getting- Yeah, that's the sweat. Sometimes yeah. it's sweat or water. If you get sweaty, that means your hands starting to get watery and clean. Me too, me too, same thing. Very good. So if you wash your hands a lot, that makes it much harder for the virus to spread because the the thing inside soap, if you wash your hands, and you should do it for about 20 seconds. So sing a little bit of a song, then voila. If you touch something and you've washed your hands, then you don't have to worry about getting or spreading the virus as much. So you, it's good to wash your hands a lot. The other thing it's good to do, do you guys ever cough or sneeze? You never sneeze, do you? No, sometimes I sneeze. You so sneeze? Yeah. And I sneeze too and cough. Even so, I, I sneeze a very weird way. I like sneeze like this. It sounds like cough. Oh, <laughs> oh what? Whoa. Whoa. Powerful. So, you know the best way to sneeze, the best place to sneeze is like this. Show me. Also, that's good for a cough. That's also good for a cough. Boy, you're so smart. Exactly. So, my teacher taught me that. Who taught you that? My teacher. A teacher. And my mom. And your mom. And do you teach your sister things? Uh, yeah, we teach a lot. That's good. That's great. Why can't I play with my friends? Hmm. I, I know you want to play with your friends, and I know they want to play with you. The problem is that when a, something like a virus is going around and it spreads, it doesn't necessarily make kids sick. In fact, kids usually don't get sick from coronavirus. But sometimes what happens is one kid will play with another kid, and then maybe that kid goes to see his grandmother or his grandfather, and then they could pass the virus on to their grandmother or grandfather, and their grandfather or grandmother could get sick. And so we want to make sure that doesn't happen. And so we're going to just, the grown-ups are going to try to make sure we're as, being as safe as possible and that when the virus is not so easy to catch, then you'll be able to go outside and play with your friends again. What's a virus? A virus? A virus is something that's kind of like a cold that spreads around from one person to another that can make them sick. And so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you don't catch a virus and you don't want to give a virus to somebody else. So one of the things about viruses 
is it goes around really fast. And that's one of the things that we have to be really careful about coronavirus. Why are people wearing masks? On Halloween, you mean? Daddy. No, not on Daddy. Halloween, the corona. Oh, I thought you were talking about Halloween. Yeah, but nice one because I like Halloween. Yeah, me too. Me, me too. too. Me too, you too. Yeah, do you, do you get candy? Yeah, I am. I get Last year, I got so much candy. What's your favorite? And, and Halloween can also have Play-Doh. Just yeah. like we have a Play-Doh playset and I, a rainbow. Okay, now I know your parents are like, where is he going with this? What What's your favorite candy? My favorite candy is chocolate candy. Chocolate candy? How, how about you? I like, you know why I like Halloween so much? Because you like candy. No, two reasons. Because I like candy and after Halloween is my birthday because it's November. My birthday is November also. Anyway. Is, it, is yours the 12th? Mine's the 12th. No, but my son's the 12th. My son, I have a son's birthday November 12th. That's cool. Anyway, you were asking about masks, weren't you? Yeah. I think we started talking about Halloween and birthday parties and everything. So people wear masks because they don't want to spread coronavirus to other people. So if you put on a mask, then they basically, if they go to a store or they're walking around in the street and they're near people, it, it, they basically are helping protect other people from getting coronavirus. So I know it looks a little bit funny because we're not used to seeing it, but it's actually helping to keep people safer and healthier. Yeah, but in LA, you you gotta stop LA, you know why? Everyone, my cousin's mom, uh, Cree's mom, Aditya, uh, she went to the grocery store, she had a mask on, and all the people in the grocery store didn't have masks. Well, good for her for doing that. Not everyone's gonna do it, but it's a good idea. And then, and then the police officers have to come. No. No. Yes, they do. That's okay. why. Okay. All right. Or they'll yes. touch right. us. All right. What do you guys eat to be safer for coronavirus? What's your favorite food? Uh, apples and grapes. Apples and grapes. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good idea. But I think. I'll say I'll like, think like that. You're gonna be it's good. Cauliflower. Cauliflower? Yeah. Wow, you're really healthy. <laughs> also, I eat something healthy you probably like. What's that? Rice. Rice? Yeah. Rice, rice, rice. So you guys don't eat pizza? You don't like pizza? No, we love pizza, right, Ron? Yeah. Our favorite flavor, I used like I I used to like pepper pepper pepperoni, pepper. but I still like pepperoni, but I like cheese better. Just like I had cheese now, now he likes cheese, my brother. You guys are so cute together. I think if you your parents will make sure you eat healthy food and food you like, and I think that'll be just fine. I don't think there's any special foods you have to worry about eating for coronavirus. I had so much fun talking to you guys. Thank you so much, Andy. Thank, Thank you. you, Andy. <laughs> Thank you. Those guys are amazing. Thank, thank you. you. Say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. That was awesome. Well, that was helpful, wasn't it, guys? What did you guys think? Yeah. yeah. Pretty cool. We want to thank Mr. Flab for taking the time. It really helped us, guys, and we hope it helped you at home as well. And, sure. and subscribe to The Housey Life. Subscribe to The Housey Life.